hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are going to learn about the requirement management in the subject of software engineering so this is basically uh, step four in the requirement engineering process the last step basically so first one was the feasibility study requirement elicitation and analysis is the second one third is requirement validation and this is the last one requirement management so if you haven't watched the previous three steps i would recommend you to watch it and then come to this video so in this video sorry in i mean yeah in in requirement management what will happen is first of all what is requirement management it is a process where you track where you control and where you maintain the requirements throughout the process of sdlc you know what is sdlc right first you will gather the requirements then you will design and you know then you will do the coding i mean then you do the planning then you do the coding and then you uh, do the testing and then you deliver it and then you maintain it so there are different steps involved in the software development life cycle so throughout the life cycle it will make sure it will try to control and maintain the requirements and it will make sure that all the requirements are implemented properly everything is going as planned it will make sure that so that is about the requirement management so here what it will do is first it will do requirement documentation it will manage the changes traceability prioritization verification and validation i'll explain each of them don't worry so first in requirement documentation what we do is we will document each and every requirement document means what writing down you say word document right so you write down everything so you write down every each and every requirement and that is nothing but your srs document software requirement specification document i've done a video about this as well you can watch that okay it will re it will document all the uh, requirements okay next one is change management so change management means what so let's say you started doing you you have your initial set of requirements and you started working on those after a few days or after a few months the customer will come up with some other change so initially they wanted the uh, login button in the center of the page but now they want it to the left of the page okay that is the that is a change so it will track all the changes as well and what is the impact of that change and how long will this change take to in, implement whether this change can be done or not whether everybody is okay with this change or not everybody will be all these will be tracked in this change management okay we have different softwares to track this change management okay let's not go too deep into that for now next is the traceability traceability is nothing but you will have a link to each and every requirement and also to the test case related to that uh, requirement uh, test cases uh, the um, you know the code also so the code requirement let's say uh, you're doing a login page okay so the requirement it will be something like this so the requirement id will be uh, the functional requirement 01 and the code module associated with this is login.py and the test case associated with this is the test case id associated with this is tc01 something like login or something like that so for like this for each and everything you'll have for login you'll have for home page you'll have for uh, uh, placing the order you'll have for each and everything you will document it so what is the requirement what is the code module associated with that and what is the test case associated with that all these things you will document and you link everything that is the traceability okay because at some point after one year or two years somebody new person will come and they'll see that they will be they should be able to understand it okay that is traceability okay requirement documentation is done you document everything through srs and later on whatever changes will come you will track those changes and next is traceability traceability means you'll have a link to each and everything next is the prioritization so you will be ranking the requirements okay you will be ranking the requirements based on the business value and also based on the urgency so how much value these requirements are adding to the business because of this requirement how much profit the business is getting or how many more customers the business is getting so based on that and based on the urgency also you will be prioritizing the requirements you will be giving them some ranks okay next is verification and validation simple so you'll be continuously verifying and validating all the requirements throughout the sdlc process okay so throughout the sdlc process you do this that means first you will verify whether this requirements can be implemented or not whether these are real or not whether these are really needed or not all these 
things will happen throughout the process of SDLC okay so this is about requirement management again a very short video very simple video so it is the last step in the requirement engineering process it is a process where you can control and maintain all the requirements throughout the software development life cycle phase until you start the project to you deliver it and you manage and you maintain the project also you will be continuously tracking everything this is a requirement management and what it will do is it will help you to document the requirements it will help you to track the changes it will have the traceability where you can trace all the older requirements or whatever things are done and you can prioritize the requirements you can verify and also validate the requirements continuously okay so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end so let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic and as i mentioned if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and if you have any video recommendations for me let me know that also in the comment section and yeah that's all thanks for watching the video till the end and let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic thank you